My name's Marcus Lang and we're in, in Tatura on the Lang family dairy farms. Uh, we currently have 1200 cows and this is the calf shed. The calf shed has a capacity of 160 calves altogether, 80 calves on each half. Uh, each pen's got five calves on each. We find it, um, when any more than five calves is, is becoming too crowded, um, especially once they get a little bit older, once they're getting towards a six, seven week, uh, days of, uh, six weeks of age mark, they, they're getting too large for the pens, so we tend to try and get them out at that stage. The reason why it's built like this, Dad actually built the shed himself um, from scratch and the reason it's the design it is because he's copied it off a shed that we had professionally built so it was easier. We knew that way that the specifications were, were strong and, and that's the reason we've gone for this construction. Uh, we like the idea of the high roof for for getting good air circulation through the shed. Um, we've got the wall behind us to stop the, the westerly winds um, coming through the shed so we do have a little bit of um, protection from the elements. Prior to having the shed we we had calves outside and in a, 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 a machinery shed. Um, we had issues with, with uh, drafts and those sorts of things. We were getting uh, quite a few sick calves uh, so we decided to, to build a dedicated calf shed that, we could, um, that would always be ready. We, we found it for the machinery shed we, we would pulling machinery out and trying to build the calves and we already, as soon as we built a new pen we already had another 20 calves going in so it was always overcrowded. Um, so we started off um, with, with this half behind us and there's another half behind the camera. So they, the calves come in um, the day that they're, they're born. Um, so we, we split calving starting in March through April and then our spring herd starts calving in August and that will go through September, October. Um, and in we, we tend to keep them for, for the eight weeks until we've weaned them because when they're in the shed we find it's easy to keep an eye on them. Uh, once they're outside we, we, we have them in paddocks a bit further away so they're not um, as accessible uh, for looking after them the calves aren't doing so well after weaning. So once they're dehorned and, and weaned and eating eating the amount of grain that we're happy with, then that's when they'll go out, out of the shed, which is about eight weeks of age. What I like about the shed is uh, all the pens lift out, all the metalwork lifts out, so we can clean it out at the end of the year with the front and ladder tractor. Um, we can pressure wash the concrete floor, <laughs> um, which means we can keep everything clean. Uh, when we do change, when we do throw some calves outside, then we, before we put the new ones in, we can lift all the pens out, clean that section out, have everything fresh and new just for the illnesses point of view. I think that's the really good part about the design yep. of this shed. Things that I would change, the middle alley, should probably be a little bit wider. We can get a motorbike up the middle, but not quite a, the trailer we've got. It should tr probably be a little bit wider, but this is the old dairy yard here, so we're sort of constrained by, by that. If we had started from scratch, we may have made it a little bit wider. Um, we probably also would, we're planning on putting some more protection on, on the easterly side um, from the wind point of view. Um, and that's, that's what we've got to change with the shed.